Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream job role. Myself, MLU Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are already available at LeetCode platform. All the code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description below. And also in addition to that, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are respectively easy, medium, hard depending upon the difficulty of the topic and premium and all order depending upon the whether the question is a premium service subscription question or all the questions with their, their combination of all the easy medium hard they are joined only by the sequence of operations of numbers which are there in the lead code table the question which you are trying to solve right now is question number 1241 one, number of comments per post let's see the question in this code you can see it's, it is already asked in Facebook okay for example column tape parent okay a column name is there sub ID means okay where submission is made if the parent ID is there or not okay there is no primary key for this table it may have duplicates okay okay write an SQL query to find the number of comments per post okay if, if it's not having any parent ID it means it is a post okay if it is having any parent ID it means it is a comment the result table should contain post ID and its corresponding number of comments the submissions table may contain duplicate comments we should count the only the unique comments per post okay submission also can be having duplicate posts you should treat them as one post okay after that treating an ascender okay let's take this example If you see this table there is submission and parent ID okay if there is no parent ID it means there is post 1 2 1 12 these are the post okay there is some ID parent ID for this this means these are comments okay these are posts okay these are comment ID for their parent posts okay now let's see what are the posts posts are how many are there 1 to 1 Okay, there can't be duplicate things so there are only three posts 1 2 12 okay that is why they have written only 1 2 12 let's see these comments comment 3 is uh, joined to which one one table let's write it like this uh, comment 3 is parent for uh, submission post 1 let's call it 3 5 is for 2 3 is for 1 again 4 is for 1 again 9 is for 1 and 10 is for 2 and only 6 is for 7 as you see there is some 7 table post which is having 6 but you can see here our main table doesn't have this one so we don't care about 6 7 so what we need to now for the post one how many comments are there 4 3 3 9 how many distinct comments are there 3 done 2 is there how many number of distinct comments are there 2 for 12 also how many number of things are there 0 so 0 so what we need to do first of all we need to take this parent table okay parent table will be this table where it is equal to null okay and we need to create one more table where we will be calculating number of counts per this one this uh, non null table okay for example I will show you how to do that first let's calculate the parent table select uh, from Okay, what we need to select sub ID 
from which table submission table submissions table uh, where parent ID is null okay let's run it okay ID parent ID is null if you see okay uh, where is the input output yeah we can see one two one two is the parent tables so, sorry uh, parent posts one two one two but we want to only unique things we don't want duplicate things distinct yes you can see we got the parent post let's call this one as posts post as this one okay now let's calculate number of comments per post okay how can we calculate let's say from submissions table only where parent id should not be null parent id is not null okay then what we'll get we will get this table okay now what we need to we need to do group by parent id and need to count distinct sub id okay parent uh, where parent id is not null group by parent id and in select parent id comma count distinct post id okay we need to calculate group by parent id and you need to count distinct sub id here uh, sub id is this one sub id yes let's call it as uh, comment something let's run it okay you can see here 1 is 3 2 is 2 and 7 is 1 1 is 2 see 1 is 3 let's remove this 1 is 3, 2 is 2, uh, here one more 1 is there but there are two duplicate values 3 and 3 that is why it is only 3 here and for 2 there are two distinct values that is why it is 2 for 7 there is only 1 ok. Now we got the parent table let us call it as comment table. Let's keep comma after that. We have the comment table and parent table. Now what we will do is we will join these two tables. Let's say select all from um, what is the table name? Post. We will do left to join because we need for all the rows even if it is not matching left to join comment on what is the common column for both of them let's call it as uh, sub id let's call it as s sub let's call this one as pair where uh, let's come let's give some alias name here let's call it pp let's call it cc where post table sub id is equal to cc table parent id now let's run it okay here you can see that both of them are joined right uh, but we need what only post id and comment only so i will remove this i will keep pp dot sub what is the name they said in the output they said it to call it as post id yes 
and the comment the number of comments which are there we need to call it as cc dot comment as the number of comments number of comments it should be space between okay if you see for one and two there are uh, matching rows that is why it's showing this number of things but for 12 if you see in this table there is value for seven but there is no value for null so it will be showing us that one so we will be taking one thing we will be keeping some edge case uh, where is this one okay let's count of things if it is null uh, let's call it zero uh, one minute is it null one minute I think null if right or let's do one thing let's keep case one statement it is better count case when distinct sub id is null then one okay if it is null uh, oh no just a minute it should not be like this one we need to keep here count cmd is null then keep it as zero else keep count of cmt only it's not required count is also not required let's run it okay we need to keep end okay cc dot cmd let's see the table again from submission where parent id is not null Okay, I would join. I did a mistake. Not in this table. It should be here. It should be in the thirteenth line. yes all the test cases are successfully passed down thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner or any classmates who are preparing for data analyst or data scientist jobs just be disciplined complete all the 230 videos which are there in my channel it will just uh, boost up your SQL knowledge and improve your interview cracking abilities it's your dream job as fast as possible just keep learning keep hustling Keep growing every single day. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much for watching.